You know, trolling tandem streamers behind a boat is kind of a main tradition. It's a New England thing, but really, tandem streamers with a fly rod uh, is a, it's a main tradition. So ice out in northern Maine is a sign of spring, and it gives someone an opportunity to catch some pretty good-sized brook trout and salmon uh, close to the water. Close to the water, yeah. Yeah, the fish are close to the water. They're in the freaking water, dude. So ice out in northern Maine is not only a sign of spring, but it also gives someone the opportunity to catch some pretty good-sized salmon and trout close to the surface. So let's take a look at my setup. So the raw that I use trolling in Northern Maine is the Sage 9 foot, uh, 8 weight. Uh, this was a DS2. It was kind of an entry level Sage rod back in the mid 90s. Uh, I built this one myself. Um, it's not a rod that I really cast much, but it's a good stout, fast action rod for that time. And I also added a fighting butt on this one. It's probably one of the only types of fishing I do that I have to do a lot of long line retrieve. Uh, and this makes it convenient to rest against your side uh, if you have to do a lot of reeling, especially if you catch a nice salmon and he strips a bunch of line out and you gotta catch up to him real quick. Uh, so yeah, Sage, nine foot, eight weight, stout rod. Don't need to cast it, don't really care much about the action. Uh, and it handles the sink tip and, and sinking line quite well. So the reel that I like to use for trolling in Northern Maine is the Orvis Batten Killer. I've got several of these reels and various weights for, for different rods. I think they're probably the best bang for your buck. You know, they're a nice looking reel, they're light, uh, reliable, and it doesn't hurt the wallet too much either. Um, you know, back in the day, they were right around 100 bucks, 120 bucks. Not too bad, buy some extra spools for different lines. Uh, it's an economical way to have a decent reel. Trolling in Northern Maine is probably gonna give me the biggest chance to play most of my fish on the reel. I typically don't dry fly fishing, uh, but trolling definitely, I play a lot of fish off the reel. Probably should consider upgrading to a large arbor, or at least a mid arbor reel. Uh, you have to do a lot of long line retrieves when you're, when you're trolling. And you know, this is just a standard arbor, uh, but I'm under the mindset, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, I, I don't mind reeling a little bit extra, uh, but you know, it does come in handy to have some faster line retrieves. So maybe a large arbor uh, would be a good upgrade. Good all around reel, like I said, I've, I've got several of them and I use them for a lot of different applications and they, they handle a uh, sink tip and sinking line quite well. So the line I use for trolling is a Cortland 333. Now yeah, it's your standard 90 foot line. This is a sink tip, so the first 10 feet of it is a sinking tip line. It stays pretty close to the surface. So I'll tell you, I don't use a full sinking line uh, where we fish, because a lot of times we get into some shallow water. And if you get too shallow, you'll start dragging bottom with a with a full sink line. But So you know, your line doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, Cortland 333, kind of a mid-level line, nothing special, uh, does the trick just fine. The leaders I use for trolling, nothing fancy. I do make sure I use fluorocarbon, but it's a level leader, anywhere from 15 to 30 feet. And most of the leaders I'm using are right around six to 10 pound test. Nothing super heavy, uh, but it's more than su sufficient for any fish that we catch in Northern Maine. You know, you can hook into the potentially seven, eight pound salmon and larger. And we've caught a few brook trout that were between five and six pounds. But now the great thing about trolling is the flies. Uh, there's nothing more classic in Maine than, than trolling with a tandem streamer. You know, and some of the main classic streamers are the 9.3, the Grey Ghost, the Supervisor, those basically all, all imitating smelts. Uh, Mickey Finn, probably my father's favorite, mimics a minnow. That red in the middle of the Mickey Finn kind of mimics the lateral line of a minnow or a, a bait fish. And uh, probably my favorite to use in, in uh, northern Maine lakes is the Barn Special. We've got a lot of yellow perch in these waters and that barred grizzly hackle 
um, imitates that well. And there's also a nice healthy population of white perch now in the lake that we fish. And I guess that'll be a topic for another time. Uh, someone decided to play biologist and introduce some white perch. So we'll see how that works out. So yeah, basically, you know, tandem streamers, they mimic some, some bait fish. Kind of a main tradition is to have that second hook in the upwards position. The tr streamer seems to track a little bit better and it may just be a traditional thing that mainers do. So I guess regardless of functionality, you know, it's it's a main tradition and anytime someone who's familiar with trolling sees a tandem streamer, they think of ice out fishing in, in Northern Maine. So yeah, that's the setup I use for trolling in Maine. You know, uh, I'm sure people use a lot of different things, a lot of different combination of things. You know, I like a good stout rod. Nine foot's plenty for me. Fighting back, sink tip fly line, long leader, fluorocarbon leader, and then you can't forget the tandem streamer. So until next time, which next time I'd better be fishing. Get outside. It's good for the soul. See ya. What the frick does that say? I can hardly, I can hardly read my own writing. So ice out in Northern Maine is a sign of spring and it gives you an up. <laughs> Ease up. Uh, those, are, those are good traditions. The reel that I like to use is, I, I like, a, I have a lot of these batten kill reels. Um, well that's, that's real, that's real classy, Paul. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we've caught a few brook trout that were between eight and six pounds. Eight and six pounds. So until next time, which I darn well better be out fishing. Soon. Real soon. Like yesterday soon. I'm getting stir crazy soon. It's time to get out. It's time to go outside. Freaking woodpecker out there on the telephone pole. So until next time, get outside. It's good for the soul. See ya. Yeah, I think that just about does it. Oh, okay. Let me fly fish and set up. Let's take some photos. Hope I hit record. That'd be terrible. <laughs>